Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is difference between HPLC and UHPLC. Both HPLC and UHPLC are common techniques in the analytical laboratory, but recent years have seen a shift from HPLC to UHPLC. Why is this? What are the differences between the two and how do you transfer a method from HPLC to UHPLC? These are the top 5 differences between HPLC and UHPLC. Particle sizes. In HPLC particle sizes of the stationary phase are typically in the order of 3 to 5 micron, whilst UHPLC is characterized by particles of 2 micron or less, column dimensions. As with particle sizes there is a corresponding reduction in column dimensions with UHPLC. A typical HPLC column has an internal diameter of 4. 6 mm and a length of 250 mm, whilst a UHPLC column has internal diameters of 2.1 mm or less and is much shorter. 100 mm, for example, flow rates. UHPLC runs at much lower flow rates than HPLC, for example 0.2 to 0.7 ml min against 1 to 2 ml min respectively, back pressure. With the smaller particles and reduced column diameter then this manifests itself into higher back pressures in UHPLC compared to HPLC. HPLC instruments typically operate at maximum pressures of 400 to 600 bar, whilst UHPLC instruments can operate at up to 1500 bar in the case of the thermoscientific Vanquish Horizon UHPLC system. Detection parameters Narrow peaks are produced with UHPLC, requiring a detector that can keep pace and provide the required number of data points per peak for detection. Most modern detectors, though, are capable of detection speeds of up to 250 Hz, which is sufficient for both HPLC and UHPLC. HPLC is commonly used in routine environments. Whilst UHPLC is more common in research and development, but this is not exclusive, HPLC is commonly why use UHPLC. Speed and throughput, smaller columns and particle sizes, low system dispersion, with a pump pressure to match, means that separations can be achieved in a fraction of the time compared to HPLC thus offering a higher sample throughput. This application note provides a nice example of this. The separation took 2.5 minutes using a column with 4.0 m particles, but when reducing this to 1.5 m particles, the separation was achieved in 1.5 minutes. Better resolution, the use of smaller columns and particles also results in better resolve and sharper peaks to give better resolution and peak capacity. Lower costs, as the flow rates are smaller and the separations fast, then solvent usage is reduced along with the associated disposal costs. The speed also offers the higher throughput so the instrument investment is fully utilized in routine environments, whilst UHPLC is more common in research and development, but this is not exclusive. Thanks for watching.